Chibi Joshua's wife takes over as Snagog's GO. The Nigerian pastor and founder of the Snagog's Church of All Nations, TB Joshua, will be buried on July 9th. Family sources says the televangelist who died on June 5th will be buried at his church in Ikotun, Lagos State, and would be succeeded by his wife Evelyn as scorn leader. Initially, reports indicated that the pastor was to be buried in his hometown at Irigidi Akoko Odo State as demanded by the traditional ruler of the town. However, it is reported that the pastor's family and church elders intervened and decided the pastor would be buried in Lagos. Since they said the reasons was spiritual, the family agreed with them, a church source said. No succession plan? Scorn leaders has also met and selected Evelyn as TB Joshua's successor as there was no succession plan for the church. Someone must take charge immediately and give spiritual direction on the mode of service on, on the mode of service continuity. So much spiritual and financial effort went into buildings S C O N A S C O A N and it cannot just waste away, a top aide said. None of the pastors were trained to succeed him. I would have I would have known if any exists. For now, the wife has taken charge. Evelyn, a senior scorn pastor, confirmed the funeral arrangements when she receives Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawo Olu. She said her husband's death came as a surprise. Evelyn was married to T.B. Joshua for 25 years and they have three children. One of their children, Sarah, is reported to have given birth to a baby boy on June 12th, the day her late father would have celebrated her 58th birthday. At this point, I want the Christians to understand that the service of God is spiritual, it's not of physical. So, attention must be paid to the Holy Spirit to take every direction He leads. Now, people are just dragging. He has to be buried, he has to be buried there. This is just a worldly ceremony. The owner of the soul has taken the soul and the soul is with God. So let them not use the activities of this life to disturb the spirituality of the church. Now, it has been said that there is no succession plan for who will take over. Now, the GO wife has been taking over the church. Well, if she has the capacity, the spiritual enablement, but before I continue, I want to ask, is she called? Is she called? This time around, we are not talking about money. We are not talking about how educated you are. We are not talking about what you have. But we are talking about somebody who is called to be able to pilot the affair of, of the church humanly. I know that the person that pilots the affair of the church is the Holy Spirit, but there is a part that the human will play in order to build continuity to the church. So that the wife that has been called to be in charge of the church now, is she called? That is the question. Because if she's not called by God, I tell you, that church will go down. But if she is called, well, sky will be her limit because i believe that church is not a family matter 
It, it must not be that since the TB Joshua has died, his wife must take over, or his son must take over, or his daughter must take over. No, his church is never a family affair, but it, it is a collective family that came from different places to meet together as a body of Christ. Because I believe that when TB Joshua was alive, there must be somebody who is closer to him, who would put people we expect that after TB Joshua he will take over. There, I believe that there are people there who know how to do God's service more than the wife. I believe that there are people there who are called. I believe that there are people whom TB Joshua has trained who are called to be able to take over after he's dead. And now maybe the wife has not even been trained. The wife has not called. If you take over the church, I tell you, she will kill that church. So that is what the spiritual people of the, uh, I mean, members should look at it. Now, as I was saying before, you know, a church is a spiritual matter. It's not a physical matter. It does not mean who you are, what you have, how educated you are. That is not what God is looking at. God is looking at the heart. He's looking at those who is able to do his work. So at this point, I want the members of the church and as well as the member of the family to think very well before they, before they take a decision. Because if they take a decision that is not according to the word of God, everything will crash and the church will begin to go down because this kind of thing has happened before. It is by the grace of God that the church stands. So at this point in time, we want the, 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 the church to, I mean, the church member to, I mean, I think the, the, what the church member and the family will have done is that, you know, before they pick somebody who will take over from him, is that they have to fast, they have to pray and fast and ask the Holy Ghost who is to take over. Just as it's happening in the book of Acts of Apostles, after Stephen is gone, the apostle has to pray and fast and ask the Holy Ghost who is to take over. And before you know it, the Holy Ghost brought the person who will take over the, 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 the position of Judas Iscariot. So, the, I mean, they must be very careful. That is what I want to say at this time and point. You, you, you cannot just choose by, by looking at the face. I repeat again, church is not a family matter. Church is, is not, it, 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 not a family project. It's not, a, it's not a family company. It's not a company that when a man died, the wife take over, the children take over. It's not a company, but this is the church of God. They better be careful because of the speculation of the news we are hearing about the man. We are not pleased about what we are hearing. And people should better keep their mouth shut if they don't have anything to say.